Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain another concept in the pre-stressed concrete that is pre-stressed with a bent tendon. See here. So this figure A shows a pre-stressed concrete beam with a bent tendon. So already I explained when the tendons are placed along the centroidal axis with some eccentricity. Here this is another type which is the tendons are placed with the bent tendon. Bent tendon. The effect are providing. So here by providing bent tendons what happens? These tendons will exert an upward pressure on the concrete beam and will contract of the part of the external downward loading. So see here in the figure B. Let us assume that the tendon forms a sharp bend and that there is no frictional loss along the tendon. So see here, considering the concrete as a free body, we find an upward force 2p sin theta is also available at the mid-span. For example, see here at the mid-span section, here I am talking. So exactly, so the tendons will be acting like this here exactly, means this is W. So due to these tendons, here an upward force is acting from this side which is P. Similarly with this tendon, here also another force is acting. So if we are resolving horizontally, what happens? So theta opposite will be sine and adjacent will be cos theta. Similarly here theta opposite will be sine and adjacent will be cos theta. So resolving horizontally gives cos theta which is P into cos theta and resolving vertically gives what happens. So here both P cos theta will be equal to P cos theta anyways in the horizontal section. Here P sin theta both are resolving W will be downwards and this will be acting upwards and again I am resolving this one plus P sin theta. So totally what happened here you will get a 2P sin theta. So one, this one will be 2p sin theta. So if you want a net downward load, net downward load, so that one will be equal to w one acting downward and 2p sin theta will be acting upwards. So this is the net downward load acting on the beam. So horizontal, the axis longitudinal force provided by the tendon will be equal to p cos theta. Then net bending moment, net bending moment. Generally, how we are finding net bending moment? For a, suppose if an UDL is acting, we know that one will be equal to W L square by eight. Only if a point load is acting, that one will be equal to W L by four. Here you can see the condition. Point load is acting exactly at the mid span, and we are also con uh, including self weight of the beam which comes under the dead load. So for that purpose only here net bending moment will be taken WL by 4 for point load plus WL square by 8. This is due to dead load bending moment. Okay. And this one will be based on the given point load bending moment which is exert when the tendons are precious with bent in tendon. Okay. And again what about this W? See here this W will is due to the net downward load. Therefore finally what happens? W minus 2P sin theta by 4 into L plus W L square by 8. So this is the net downward bending moment acting on the span. And again, what are the extreme fiber stresses we have to find here? Extreme stresses. That one will be equal to P cos theta by A plus or minus M by Z. So here cos theta, if theta is being small, theta is being small. For example, if I am taking theta will be equal to some 0, cos theta will be equal to 1. So cos theta equal to unity. So finally, you will get a P by A plus or minus M by Z. So these are the extreme fiber stresses. At top, it will be P by A plus M by Z. At bottom, it will be P by A minus M by Z. 